Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about Beck's Triad, what it is, when it occurs, and an easy mnemonic to help memorize uh, what it exactly entails. So first the mnemonic. The mnemonic is this. Triple D, uh, which is easy enough to remember. Um, the first D is distant heart sounds. So this is when you're auscultating for rate and rhythm uh, with your stethoscope and you, it's really hard for you to hear the heart. It's because it's uh, muffled and they sound distant as if they're far ways away. We'll talk about why in a second. Next is decreased blood pressure. Uh, like hypotension, especially the narrowed pulse pressure. And then the third one is distended neck veins. like a jugular venous distension or JVD. Um, so those are the three parts of it. Uh, JVD, hypotension with a narrowed pulse pressure and muffled heart tones. It's just easier to remember with a triple D, uh, distant, decreased, and distended. Uh, we'll talk about why that is here in a second. So uh, your heart, <clears throat> so obviously as an anatomic, is surrounded by a protective covering called the pericardium. It's like a sac. Um, in times of cardiac tamponade, which means the pericardium is starting to fill with fluid that prevents the heart from expanding, contracting like normal, um, it can be life-threatening for the patient. It can manifest these certain signs and symptoms before the patient gets really sick or, or while they already are super sick. You can imagine if this protective sac has no stretch to it and it's full of fluid, the heart can't really expand as well as it wants to, and thus it can't have as high of a cardiac output. Um, for that reason, that's why we get the Bex triad, right? So if you have a high pressure in here, that's going to limit venous return to the heart. So blood is going to start to back up, and that's where your JVD, or your uh, distended neck veins, come from. Um, next, if your cardiac output goes down, you're going to have hypotension because your heart isn't pumping as much or as effectively as it normally does. So that's where the hypotension comes from in the second D. Um, the narrowed pulse pressure means that the difference between your systolic and your diastolic blood pressures, that, that's the difference is called the pulse pressure. So you're going to see something more like this where the pressures are almost uh, equivalent. That's because the pulse to pulse variation isn't adding a bunch of stroke volume because the, the heart's not able to fill with a bunch of preload. So, um, you know, an actual episode of systole isn't going to add a whole bunch of pressure. So, your pressures will normalize or equilibrate. Not normalize, they'll equilibrate, excuse me. And then, uh, so that's the, I did the third D, I did the second D, and then the first D is distant heart tones. We can imagine if the heart is in a bag of fluid, it's going to be harder for you to hear that heartbeat or when those valves open and close, what earlier those sounds are. And so that's where the three Ds come from. Distant muffled heart tones, decreased blood pressure with a narrowed pulse pressure, and venous distension. All right, that's Beck's triad and the triple D mnemonic. Thanks.